Jupiter and Mercury made a journey through Figeria, this is a relative clause, which is in Asia. But no one in that entire nation recognized them. All judge, and this is an indirect statement, that they were humble men because they were wearing wretched, miserable clothes. They approached near a thousand houses for they sought a suitable place, so these go together, a suitable place, this is accusative, these go together, and a dative, to sleep, for sleep. But all, able of absolute here, with them having been seen, adverb here, swiftly shut their homes. In, in the entire region, they were sharply, adverb, sharply driven back, repelled. Nevertheless, one house, small and humble, did not repel them. There, Bacchus and Philemon lived, accusative of time, for many years. The subject is here. They were not afflicted, and they is implied in this participle here. This is a PPP. They were not afflicted by ablative agent, by humble conditions. They endured poverty, lightly adverb, and also bravely. Uh, the two were the entire household. They were both masters and slaves themselves, for they had no servants. Bacchus prepared a humble dinner with great diligence and swiftness, ablative of manner. She never worked so swiftly. This is a comparative adverb, so swiftly. Never worked so swiftly. Then, with ablative absolute, with everything having been set up, they called the gods to dinner. The table, not beautiful, but useful, was had been arranged with few but good foods. They drank, they drank wine, but the wine bowl, the bowl always contained wine. So they were drinking wine out of their, uh, a bowl, a pitcher, and it never emptied. So that's what that's saying. Then Bacchus and Philemon, sitting, this is a PAP going back to Bacchus and Philemon, sitting at the table, uh, clearly adverb, clearly sensed, uh, indirect statement, that God's were present. Then Jupiter said, we are gods. We decided, determined that, in direct statement, that the entire nation, and this is an idiom, will pay the penalty. 
because no one gave aid to us, David, but you will live. We will proceed to the mountain. And so, Bacchus and Philemon, PPP, moved thoroughly, referring back to them, by ablative agent, by this speech, slowly proceeded to the mountain. There, they stopped and they saw, and then, this is an indirect statement, that the entire region was under water. Their own house alone remained. While watching, while they were watching, their house was turned into a beautiful temple. Then Jupiter said, What do you want, desire? That I will give that thing, this is the subject, that, or sorry, that's the, I will give that thing, relative clause, which you seek. Philemon Uh, with his wife consulted, so ablative here, with his wife having been consulted, ablative absolute, responded. We judge, in direct statement, that no service uh, would be, or would, so we judge that no service is more pleasing and more suitable dative to us than, qualm plus the comparative, than uh, to be priests of that temple and to depart from life, ablative time, at the same time. Because we lived for many years in harmony, and this is the of time. After after this speech, Jupiter allowed, permitted this duty to them. After many years, Philemon and his wife uh, Heavy, and this is able in respects to age, able to respect, so heavy in respects to the age, stood before the sacred temple. Their bodies uh, begin, slowly began to be turned, and this is a present passive infinitive, slowly began to be turned into trees. The voices stuck. They were no longer breathing nor alive. Neither departed life before the other. The two trees, or these two trees, stood before the temple accusative time for many years.